After I built the Dynaflow banjo, I put a really cheap neck on it that I got off eBay with the idea of putting a better neck later on. And a friend of mine down in Massachusetts has one for me, but uh, I haven't been able to get it from him yet. And I was on eBay the other day, just kind of looking for old banjo necks, and I, I ran across this one. And when I first saw it on the picture, it didn't look like much, and I didn't pay much for it. I bought it, and uh, the guy shipped it to me, and I took it out of the box, and I said, Wow, just look at this baby. That is a very nice neck. It's a plectrum banjo neck, which makes it a little bit longer than uh, the one I have on here, which is a good thing because if you're going to play in public and you need to capo up, it's better to have a little longer neck, although I generally play one, you know, I just, just would generally prefer a shorter scale. But it's a good long neck. It's well made. Uh, I could put a fifth string shelf on the side of this and put a fifth string on it and mount it right there. It has a kind of a funny looking little uh, heel, which would have to be kind of worked on a good bit, filled in and everything, but that could be made to work. Um, take a little work to make it to make it work, but it could it could happen. And that heel's been broken before, so actually by feel, filling in that back part there, I can actually give a little extra strength to the part of the heel where it's broken down there. So I must spend a little time working this. Uh, working this neck over and then uh, see if I can't slip it on this baby. I think I think that would look quite honking on there. So that's a project I'm going to take on. I'll, uh, I'll let you know how that turns out. I was just looking at this neck a bit more and I noticed this little sticker on the back of it says uh, Wes uh, Wayman Wayman Keystone State and it's got Wayman and Son, and then uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania on the back of it. I don't know, that's just kind of cool. They've also got the uh, the tuning pegs sunk into the uh, back of the headstock here, which is kind of interesting. I've got some uh, geared tuning pegs in the other room on an old banjo that's uh, really not much. I'll show it to you there, but it looks like those tuning pegs would sink right into those little insets there just perfectly so that might work out real nice we'll uh, mess around with that but <clears throat> first thing I got to do with this is uh, the way the back of this sits I'll set it here this needs to be kind of flush here um, and this neck has been broken before right here it's been somebody put a a dowel in there and it cracked and they glued it back together um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind this little raised up part off of here and uh, probably try to make that just about flat so that I can glue a piece of hard wood on the here and then reshape the wood to fit the, uh, the banjo rim and then I can put a new heel cap over the whole thing when I get through uh, that'll give me some more strength here. I'll fill the dowel hole and it'll give me some more strength when I put I'm going to use a screw on this one the way I did on the back of the uh, The Dynaflow banjo there's just because it's an aluminum rim. I just used a metal screw right straight into the stick So by making this stronger When I put my screw in here It won't be going back into just the old wood. It'll have a, like a new piece of strong hardwood on the bottom of here and have that refilled. I'll redrill the hole, put that screw in there, and put a new heel cap on it. And that should make it even stronger. And uh, we'll do that, and then we'll, we'll uh, make the uh, piece, the, the fist string shelf on the side of it. And uh, geez, I pretty much got my work cut out for me there.